Hi everyone, I just wanted to, hi everyone, it's Lisa again. I just wanted to go over some of the other supplies that I use uh, to successfully do my chalk art. art. Uh, one of the key things I think everyone should have is a pair of knee pads, or if you don't have that, uh, one of these lovely foam cushions. Um, just find something cushiony. It doesn't, you don't have to go out and buy special stuff like I did because I do this a lot. But it is, it would be a lot harder to do my art if I didn't have something to protect my knees. Excuse me spring is getting to me um another great thing to have of again from the dollar store is just these wonderful little gloves you can put them on and you can blend your chalk with those um you can see that you know with my finger here i can blend the chalk well you can also do that just as well with the rubber glove it does just as well as your finger um i keep baby wipes in my thing because sometimes i have too much black or a darker color on my hands or a lighter color <coughs> and i don't want it blending in to uh, a certain spot on the drawing. So this is an easy way for me to clean my hands. Also one of these, if you're having a hard time getting the chalk to go down into some cracks, you can use that. If you have like more of a rougher surface, <coughs> that really, I actually end it, if you chop it off and have like a really rough, coarse bristle, it helps work that chalk down in. And I think I am getting the chalk up in the air and it's making me <clears throat> choke here, but um, and if you're finding that your chalk is not sticking, um, you can also spray a little bit, a really thin layer of hairspray, just so that now you've got a new surface. It kind of just it seals it and gives you a new surface to draw on. Uh, another thing item that I really wouldn't be without is a very nice yardstick. If you're going to be doing a big drawing and you need to lay out your grid, a yardstick is a good way to go. Um, there's professional strings that... Um, people will use to just mark, you can just pull the string out and and flip the string in the line and it puts a line down perfectly for you. Those are kind of expensive. Uh, those are more for people who do this very frequently. If you don't, a yardstick works great. Or just get something really long, the straight edge, and that will work too. All right, we'll see you in the next video.